Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Lectures in Lab Coats. My name is Sparks and I will be your lovely lab coated lecturing let's player for today. Those of you who follow this series will know that even though it's called Lectures in Lab Coats, I haven't done many lectures recently about the game mechanic. I've mostly been doing tutorials and showcases, so I'm very excited to get back into this today. We're on 1.7.2. Uh, the snapshots are done for now, so I feel a little bit safer about talking about the game mechanic because with, with the snapshots that hat tends to change a lot. So, um, this is a flower field. These are all flowers generated by bone mealing. Um, and I find, I don't know whether this is a bug or not. Um, flowers spawn in patches. Uh, we are in a flower forest biome in the super flat world. And I can understand that they generate in, in patches, but when you bone meal them, this is still the case. I could bone meal this patch of ground here as much as I like. And in this section here, the only flowers we're gonna get are these uh, allium flowers. Um, same for the roses over here. Um, sorry, poppies. <laughs> and yeah, I found this out. I was making a flower farm and noticed that all, not all the flower types were spawning and, and I wanted to know why. So I created this area, basically bone mealed it all by hand, went into MC Edit, cleared away the grass, and then did it again until I could see the patterns nicely. Now, I, I don't know if this is a good thing or not. What do you guys think? That if you bone meal an area of ground, only certain flowers can grow there. I personally think that's a bit of a shame. You can, of course, pick the flowers up and place them where you want, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, what I'm wondering is what this means for flower farms and whether this is a bug or not. Now, I am going to um, post this to the Minecraft bug report forum uh, to see whether they mark it as um, works as intended, uh, because it might be that this is what they wanted. But I want to do an experiment for my flower farm, uh, which you uh, the information of which you can probably use as well. Um, I've got a little setup here. I've got a dispenser which fires bone meal up at the grass, uh, causing flowers and le uh, grass to spawn. And down here I have a load of command blocks which just delete the grass. So if I turn on the clock here, basically place and destroy, place and destroy over and over again. What I'm gonna do is off camera, I'm gonna film this from above and I'm gonna sit down with a sheet of paper and I'm gonna make a note of every blocks um, every block and how whether only flowers spawn now or only grass um, and then we can use that you know maybe it turns out that some blocks can only ever spawn flowers and not grass um, that will be useful you know we can make a flower farm that doesn't give us any seeds which would be useful uh, and if we can say that only uh, red tulips can spawn on this block and only whatever this is as your bluelets can spawn on that block, then we can make a flower farm that's pretty much auto sorting. You know, we can we don't have to sort the, the flowers afterwards because we can predict where they spawn and put them into individual chests, which seems pretty cool. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this um, do this off camera, and I'll be right back. I'm probably going to mark this out for you guys to see in a second. So let's have a look and see what happens. Okay, well, that experiment has been done. Um, all of these flowers have been placed using bone meal, uh, and you can clearly see that they are appearing in clumps. I did this experiment twice. I did it once with a dispenser, um, and once by hand, just to check there's no difference. So there's a couple of things that I can now state with certainty. Uh, first of all, uh, only one type of flower can spawn per block, based on this algorithm. Um, Height doesn't matter. I did the same thing up top here, and it seems to be exactly the same, so that's fine. Uh, dispensers and placing by hand create the same effect, so that's nothing to worry about there. And the other thing is that both grass and flowers can grow in any given spot. So, what does this mean for flower farms? Well, basically, it means that it's going to be quite tricky to get a flower farm that does every type of flower. You have to find a good spot. However, finding that spot shouldn't be too tricky because elevation isn't isn't an issue to consider. Like you could say, oh, there's a nice joining point here, but that might not exist higher up. Uh, and apart from that, it means that you can technically create a flower farm that only farms certain flower colors um, out, out of a selection by choosing just the blocks which can spawn that flower. Uh, which is a, also a good way of sorting them if you wanted to not, if you wanted to sort the flowers. But it means that uh, you will get seeds no matter where you go because grass can always spawn in those locations. So, interesting experiment. Um, I'd like to see what people have to say about this. And the big question, of course, is: Do you think that bone meal should behave like this? I can't quite decide personally. I don't know 
whether I think it's good that they spawn in patches like this. Um, so I'd like to hear what you guys have to say about that. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.